Hello everyone, my name is Kalur Roy. In my previous videos, I have shown how we can auto number your chapter section and subsections and also how you can insert figures and figure captions. In today's video, I'll show you how we can insert equation and equation numbers in your thesis. So let's scroll down to the document. Let's see, we'll insert an equation under 1.2.1 subsection. To insert the equation, first, I'll insert one table, which is three by one. This table has three cells and I'll adjust probably the first and last cell width. So the middle cell will act as a equation body where we'll insert the equation and the right cell will have the equation number. So let's go ahead and insert one equation in the middle cell. So we'll go to the insert under equation. Let's say we'll insert the area, this equation, area of a circle. To insert the number, we'll select this table, go to the reference tab and we'll click on insert caption. Now we can see that the insert the caption window is open and here you can from the option we'll select the equation and we'll just leave this uh, position as our selected item and make sure that we'll exclude level from the caption. We can again look at the numbering and the format we usually choose is one to three. And we'll also make sure that this include chapter number is checked in. The chapter starts with style heading one. And for separator, we'll usually use period. We'll just hit OK. OK. So now that the caption appears on the top of the table, we'll cut this number and we'll paste this number in the right cell. And we can probably put the number inside of a parenthesis. So in this way, we have this equation and on the right, we have this equation number. Now, what we can do, we can click on this table. We wanna erase the border. So we'll go to the home and from the bordering option, we'll choose no border. So now we can see we have this equation template built in. So the next thing I would do, I would save this template to further use this template in my document. So we'll click on the whole table I'll go to the insert and I'll go to this equation drop down menu. And at the bottom of the equation, you can see the save selection to equation gallery. I'll click on that and I'll probably name this as my equation template. And the rest of the options I'll just leave it as default, it's gallery equation categories general. I'll click OK. So now my this equation template is saved in the equation gallery. So if I need to insert another equation, let's see, I'll insert another equation here. I'll just go to the equation under insert tab and I'll search for my template. So here you can see my equation template. I'll click on that 
and the template is automatically inserted in this position with automatic number 1.2 just because this is my second equation and we can later change this equation according to our new equation let's say we insert this binomial theorem equation so this is our equation 1.2 so let's see what happens when we insert an equation before 1.1. Let's say we'll insert one equation here. So we'll go to the insert from equation. We'll select my template. So now you can see that this is now equation 1.1. And if we scroll down, this equation is also 1.1. So if we put one equation before this 1.1, the equation numbers will not, not be automatically updated. So we need to update the whole document. So to do that, we select Control A, or we can just select all from here and we'll right click on any highlighted text and click update field. We'll update the entire table and hit OK. So we might need to do it twice. Update entire table, hit OK. So now let's see, we have this first equation 1.1 and this equation is now updated to 1.2 and the next equation is updated to 1.3. So now, if we need to refer one equation number, let's say this equation 1.2 in the document, the terms in equation 1.2. So instead of manually writing this number 1.2, we can again use the cross reference option. So we'll go to the reference tab and we'll click on this cross reference. So from the drop down menu, we'll choose equation and we're referencing 1.2. So here we'll actually can leave this option entire caption because previously in this document, in insert caption we have selected that we don't need the caption label so we'll just hit insert close it and here you can see that this equation number 1.2 is reference so now if we add any new equation on top of this 1.2 and this equation number gets changed we don't have to manually change this equation reference 1.2 so we can just update the whole document and this equation reference will auto update so in this way we can simply insert equation and equation number in the thesis thank you for watching this video i hope this video helps you in writing your thesis if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I'll see you next time. Bye.